Hello, this is talking about the uh, unit one to unit three of the E2 uh, workbook, okay? And then uh, for the page one, it is talking about for the short term, is we will regard the short term atmospheric condition of Hong Kong as weather, okay? And for the long term FH weather condition of Hong Kong, we will consider as climate, okay, by my colleagues. And then which of the following paragraph is for Hong Kong? Uh, definitely the right hand side, okay, because uh, there's a lot of rain during the uh, summer and uh, especially May, starting from May, and you may experience some of the very heavy rainstorm previously in previous few days that uh, in the in the May, okay, that it can be regarded as like this, okay? Yeah, it can regard the large rainfall during the May, okay? And Hong Kong is having some tropical climate and then they might uh, draw the wind direction properly, not just this way and also that way because uh, Hong Kong is uh, having both sides of wind, okay? And it always happening in the summer and the rainy season of Hong Kong. And this is the monsoon system of Hong Kong, okay? Uh, because in the uh, summertime, we are having more, more onshore wind, but why the onshore wind occur? Because the land will absorb, the land will absorb more heat, okay? And then uh, the hot air rise and then forming a low pressure in the sea and then uh, of the sea is relatively lower and then, uh, sorry, uh, the low pressure in the land and then the sea is having a uh, relatively lower temperature and then a high pressure is developed and then the high pressure flowing to the, flowing the air to the low pressure system, okay, then it is formed the southeasterly wind, okay, southeasterly wind flowing from the sea to the land, okay, and what are the weather system mentioned above is correct. The wind direction may change in with season. That's true because in the winter, it will blow like this, isn't it? Okay, okay. I, uh, which is uh, why it's having a cold weather because the uh, cold air mass from the uh, Mongolian desert, uh, Mongolia will uh, blow from Mongolia to Hong Kong, and then there will be a lot of cold air and dry air accordingly, okay? Then uh, the wind will change with seasons, okay? It will bring the rainfall to the inland, not really, because uh, once the once the wind blowing from, uh, from the sea to Hong Kong, and then if it's continuous, then the rain will become dissipated, the water will become dissipated, the water will be gone, the moisture will be gone, okay? So accordingly then, uh, it won't affect the inland area so much, okay? And how about number three? It occurred due to the temperature difference between the land and the sea, okay? It's also true because land absorb heat faster and then release heat faster as well. And then the sea absorb heat solar and then the sea release heat slower as well. So it should be boy, it should be boy, okay? Uh, so for page three, page three, in recent years, the summer in Hong Kong is getting hotter while winter is getting not cooler. It should be uh, warmer, okay? The wind speed in urban areas have decreased because there are a lot of building to block the wind, okay? And then there are small increase of any rainfall inside of large increase of any rainfall because uh, the rainfall will not suddenly change that much, okay? Yeah. And then number two, what the graph below shows the change of the weather element in Hong Kong over time. Which of the following are possible label for X axis, okay, Y axis, sorry, okay? And we should be talking about the, uh, number one is not quite right because you know, uh, number of day that is having daytime temperature lower than four degrees Celsius, okay? Not really happening in Hong Kong. Number one is wrong, okay? And then let's check out others, okay? Because right now, in general, the uh, the weather of Hong Kong is getting hotter and hotter. Number of hot days increase. Okay, cloud among cloud among, which is talking about whether we are having a lot of uh, cloud uh, formed in Hong Kong. And indeed, if the weather is hot, then more evaporation. Possibly, the cloud will be formed more densely. So. Number C is correct, okay, level two and three, okay. Uh, 3A, visibility refers to the distance that can be seen by human eyes, okay. The visibility is generally low, okay, and 
the trend of visibility in Hong Kong is decreasing, okay? Let's move to here, okay? Change of annual mean temperature, which is the uh, 23.6 minus the 22.5, and which is 1.1 degrees Celsius, okay? Uh, because you can see 185, okay? 1985, this is right. 1985, which is right here. And then for the 2016, it should be 23.6. So uh, if 23.6 minus 22.5, it should be 1.1 degree Celsius, okay? And then the trend line between the uh, 1987 and 2016, 9x7 and then to 2016 right in this side is having a steeper gradient. You can see right here the gradient is more steeper than the 1x5 to 2016. Okay, then you have to in indicate this area is having a greater increase than this area. Okay. So uh, how about the rainfall? How is it going to change for the rainfall? The under the warmer climate, more water will be evaporated, more clouds will be formed and cause the increase of rainfall. And how about the extreme weather event? Under the warmer climate, there will be more extreme hot days and extreme rainfall, okay? What should we do if we are going to have this situation? Maybe we have to uh, switch on more air conditioning. The electricity bill will become higher and also more rainstorm will affecting the transport service or causing more flooding and also the crops may be damaged. Let's move to uh, number two, unit two, okay? Then for the unit two, for the unit two, uh, you can see uh, you're gonna have a lot about the polar zone, tropical zone and also temperate zone. And for the B, zone one, uh, Arctic circle, this one is the Arctic circle, okay? This one is the Arctic circle, okay? Zone two, nice between the equator and Tropic of Cancer. Maybe I give you, I also let you go because for the Tropic of Capricorn, okay? Yeah, because I have said Tropic of Capricorn in the lesson, but I think it's also right because uh, both of them are the, uh, are the tropical area, okay? All of them are the tropical area. So you cannot uh, say, oh, this part is the tropical zone only. So I think the answer created by here is not very accurate. Maybe equator is okay, but uh, maybe you better slash and then chop, uh, tropic of Capricorn is better, okay? Because, okay, both of them are really uh, tropical zone, isn't it? So uh, I think, uh, it can be Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer is also okay, okay? So Song Fi lies between the Antarctic Circle. This one is Antarctic Circle, 66.5 S is the Antarctic Circle. And then right here is the Tropic of Capricorn, okay? Then in general, the temperature decreased with increasing latitude, okay? Then which of the following description with the global rainfall pattern are correct? A, the rainfall is uh, evenly, unevenly distributed over the world too, okay? Because some of them are deserts and some of them are really having a lot of rain, such like the Hong Kong or the tropical rainforest, okay? And the desert area having the lowest annual rainfall, also Chula, yeah, uh, because uh, desert is very dry, okay? And how about number three? The region near the poles are wetter than the region near the equator, or uh, not true because equator is always wetter because equator is full of tropical wind for us, okay? Then it should having a lot of rain, okay? Then number three is wrong, okay? And number pole is wetter, okay? Pole are wetter. So for here, and let's see what Peter said. Peter said, oh, my place is cold, okay? If it is really talking about the place is cold, I think it should be having a higher latitude, okay? Uh, so it should be right here. So the lowest, uh, the most low uh, area of between X, Y, Z, I think it should be Z, okay? So Peter live in a cold area, okay? Cold places and dry all the time. How about Mary? Mary is having hot and wet climate all year long, okay? So it should be here, okay? It should be here, 
And how about John? He's living in the city with mild rainy winter. Rainy winter always refer to what? Mediterranean climate. And uh, most of you have said that, oh, Mediterranean is here. Okay, you should know, know this from history, isn't it? Okay, then yeah, this is the Mediterranean climate. So X is a tropical climate, Y is Mediterranean climate, and also Z is the polar climate. And one of the major factors that contribute to the uh, climate in X, uh, city X, Y, Z, and I think uh, the, how say, the latitude also okay, the uh, distance from the sea also okay. Yeah, but anyway, it's say temperature and rainfall, okay? Then uh, reduce the bearing. I think I have told you how, what is reduce the bearing. Reduce the bearing, which is talking about Peter to Mary. Peter to Mary, okay? So from Peter, to Mary. So it should be this direction, isn't it? This direction. So north or south, okay? Bear in mind the first principle of the uh, of the reducer bearing, okay? You're gonna find it's in the north side. North side should be this way, okay? North side or the south side first, okay? Since Mary is south of Peter, so you better say it's S, okay? The first uh, alphabet you should write is S, okay? So that's why we call it S, okay? And then from the south, we are going to uh, deflect in the east side, isn't it? And then deflected, when we are deflected to the east side and it's around seven degree, okay? 70 degree, sorry, okay? Uh, it's about 70 Peter and Mary, okay? from Peter to Mary is south, isn't it? And from the south, how much we have deflected? It has deflected to east for 70 degrees. So it should be south 70 east, okay? And then straight line distance, uh, you can just measure it out, which is around XCM, okay? Yeah, if XCM, then we have to times 3000 and then it should be uh, 24,000 km, okay? Yeah, and then what item should Peter bring for this? for his trip, okay? Sunglasses, huh? umbrella, sunscreen, t-shirt, socks, blah, 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 okay? Then for here, uh, you, first of all, many of you forget to write the nine, draw the nine, you have to draw the nine. And if you haven't for, draw the nine, you have given me nine marks. I, I would better say thank you for this, okay? Yeah, calculate the global mean temperature from 180 to 2016, okay? The global temperature change from uh, 1880 to 2016 equals to uh, 0 0.98 degrees, 0 0.98 degrees right here to, uh, and then minus negative 0 0.19 degrees. So the answer should be 1.17 degrees Celsius, okay? In general, it's an increasing trend and then the Temperature change between 1880 to 1970 from here to here, which is at minus 0 0.19. Sorry, once again, uh, 0 0.02 minus, minus uh, negative 0 0.19. So it should be 0 0.21 degrees Celsius. Okay, how about 72 at uh, 2016? Then it should be here, 0 0.98, and then minus 0 0.02, with the 0 0.02. Oh, 70, oh, right here, okay. Then it should be 0 0.96. So in general, the uh, temperature increased during the 1970 to 2016 is faster then 1AXO to 1970, okay? And then for this one, which is talking about the point description of the, about the global temperature change are correct. First of all, the mean temperature of all latitude has increased, isn't it? Because it's talking about the temperature change and all of them, no matter we, what latitude is it, it's all positive digit, okay? So it should be all increasing. Northern Hemisphere having a smaller temperature increase than Southern uh, Hemisphere, isn't it? No, because you can see the Northern Hemisphere having higher increase, okay, uh, than the Southern Hemisphere. So 
the number two is wrong, so the answer should be boy. But let's see choice number B. There is a larger temperature increase in the higher latitude, also true up because you can see right here and right here, it is larger, okay? So the answer should be B. This situation, global warming, okay? Then why we are having global warming? Uh, why is this affecting the rainfall? I mean, okay, yeah, the global mean rainfall will be increased because the hot air, the air will be hot, uh, will be heat up, okay? And then the hot air will rise and then the evaporation of water will take place and more clouds will be formed, okay? And what are the spatial distribution? What's the spatial distribution? In short, which is talking about where, okay? Where, okay? 即是在哪裡, spatial distribution, okay? Uh, high latitude, we will see more rainfall, but some tropical regions will, dry, will be drier than before, okay? Describe how the temperature change affect the people in the high latitude, okay? A warmer climate may reduce the use of heater in winter, then also the people may enjoy the outdoor activities in some in winter and also the going season can be lengthened. Okay. Yulifi, what is greenhouse gas? Greenhouse gas is talking about absorb heat from the air, absorb heat from the air. Okay, which of the following are the greenhouse gases? Uh, water vapor, yes, carbon dioxide, yes, and methane also, yes. All of them are the water vapor. Okay, and for the C, what happened the, to the level of greenhouse gas since uh, 20th century? Since the 20th century, the level of greenhouse gas have increased largely. In particular, carbon dioxide. This has caused the global warming and lead to climate change. Okay, so this is how the global warming work bear in mind. Okay, first of all, the sunlight enter the atmosphere and then the ground is heated and you need the heat energy to warm the air and then the atmosphere okay the atmosphere itself is having a lot of greenhouse gas and right now we are having more even more greenhouse gas so which is some go outgoing heat energy we will be trapped by the greenhouse gas and keep the earth warm and although some of the heat is escaped to the space but most of the heat is absorbed by the atmosphere and it makes the climate become warmer and warmer Okay, so right here, you can see Arctic. We're gonna save the Arctic, just copy from here. Come on, still some of you get it wrong, okay? And what are the problem? Fat turns the region, global warming, huh? why it is going to happen? Because human activities release uh, more greenhouse gas into the atmosphere, more heat is trapped, the greenhouse effect is enhanced, the earth become warmer, okay? Once the once the temperature is increasing and then it speed up the melting of glacier and then also it may damage our habitat. Some of us cannot find enough food and even die of hunger, okay? Uh, which of following are the large, uh, has the largest share of the carbon dioxide emission? Definitely electricity generation because no matter transport, no matter residential building, no matter industrial build activities, also lead the electricity okay number b the carbon dioxide uh, the carbon dioxide emission coming from burning of fossil fuel including coal oil and natural gas okay uh, so we are having some activities which include all oh, uh, the girls going to buy the apple from japan oh very juicy very sweet okay but throughout these processes uh, she is going to transport the food by air and then throughout the process, it is going to emit a lot of carbon dioxide by burning a lot of fossil fuel, okay? And this girl is going to apply some uh, mosquito repellent, okay? The use of spray or aerosol produce chlorophyll carbon, CFC, okay? That's a very strong greenhouse gas. And then for here, the amount of solid waste keep increasing. We need more land for disposal, which is talking about the waste treatment. And first of all, the landfill will produce a lot of carbon dioxide and methane when it is decomposed, okay? And then cattle ranching, now this one, so you can see a lot of cattle walking here, okay? Yeah, and then uh, why is this uh, so popular nowadays? Because uh, we need more meat, okay? Because Maybe when you uh, hang out with your mom or hang out with your friends and you may go out back restaurant, okay? And then all of them, oh, stick, 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 
okay? Then this is also a kind of increasing demand of meat. And cattle ranching bring more income than growing the crops also uh, is an, uh, also is, a issue, is an issue, okay? And in terms of farming intensity, right here, you can see the cattle is very compact, okay? It's very packed, very clouded. And the farming intensity, it refers to the farming intensity is high and then, a large number of cattle is raised in small area and then they produce large amount of methane during the digestion process. The strong wave and uh, strong gas, greenhouse gas trap more heat and then leading to the global warming and climate change. Okay. And then change of vegetation cover may refers to many trees are cut down to provide uh, cattle ranching. And then the decrease of the vegetation cover fewer trees to absorb the carbon dioxide via photosynthesis. Okay. So right here, you can see uh, different kinds of uh, emission sources of the carbon dioxide. First of all, motor vehicle is the, one of the uh, sources and then power generation, another kind of. And then from the Zhujiang Delta, also going to blow a lot of pollutant from Zhujiang Delta to Hong Kong because Zhujiang Delta is quite industrialized and also urbanized, okay? So they are having a lot of plant, power plants factories and vehicles then, and also they are using fossil fuel and then uh, producing a lot of greenhouse gas and those pollutants will carry to Hong Kong by winds and it will increase the temperature of Hong Kong also. So right here, you have to draw the bar and some of you haven't drawn the bar as well, okay? And also for the title, control C, control V from here indeed, okay? Then bear in mind, Okay, so all of them can show the greenhouse gas emission of all sectors have been increased. The largest sources of greenhouse gas emission again, electricity generation. But why? Because uh, there will be more po population, more consumption of electricity, living standard is better, and also the more people may afford more vehicles. Okay. Uh, last one, urban heat island effect. So bear in mind why urban heat island effect taking place in Hong Kong. First of all, the vegetation cover is little in urban area. Less heat can be lost through the transpiration, evaporation from the soil, and then less carbon dioxide can be absorbed. And also concrete surface absorb more heat, okay? Density of building, in general, the high density of build. Uh, the high density of building is uh, taking place in urban area and then which will block the wind flow and then difficult to disperse the heat, okay? How about the energy use? Energy use is high in urban area. More population and more wastage will be produced by the air conditioner in the buildings, okay? And what kind of uh, condition is the phenomenon identified in question one more obvious? Uh, it should be at the light and also in the prime and night wind condition because if there is a in the night there will be more heat retained if the wind is not that strong okay it will blow the heat away so this is the end of the workbook uh, answer section of the unit one to unit b bye bye